Right now, you remember him, of course, the former uh, senator from the great state of Connecticut, ran for vice president in 2000 with Al Gore. Uh, senator, this looks to be pretty out of control, and it got the attention of Doug Schoen and Andrew Stein, uh, powerful, influential Democrats, both writing in today's Wall Street Journal that Democrats better pay attention. They noted that the rise in crime is largely the byproduct of far left, quoting here, criminal justice and policing reforms that Democratic cities and states have now adopted over the past few years. What do you think of that? Uh, well, I think uh, Doug Schoen and, and his uh, co-author issued a, a really um, reasonable, rational, practical warning uh, to Democrats. I mean, the stories that uh, your two reporters just uh, gave us uh, are really outrageous and infuriating, but, but they also uh, represent a, a real threat to, to American life as we have known it. And uh, by that, I mean one of the aspects of our country that makes this a, a, a great place to live is the rule of law. Uh, and who is it uh, who really enforces the rule of law? It's the local police. It's the FBI uh, nationally. Uh, and when you, when you start to both turn on the police and say defund the police or, or defund the FBI, and you adopt uh, laws like these, these so-called bail reform laws, uh, you're really undercutting uh, the, 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 our way of life and what gives us the security uh, to go out and uh, do everything we want to do, work, play, etc. So uh, this got to stop. And honestly, I think there's, there's uh, going to be an uprising of the American people, could be in, in the elections for Congress this fall on this issue. This matters to people. You know, and even if you wanted to just be blatantly political about it, and you're, you know, a Democratic politician, and you know your base is in urban areas and in cities, and uh, that base is dealing with this, you would want to do something about this, wouldn't you? Yeah, no, this is a, a really good point, Neil. Look, uh, I, I was raised, as you probably were, although you were raised later than I was, uh, to see the, the police as our friends. They were out there to protect us. From the criminals. Now, I understand that uh, police uh, are uh, people, and people make mistakes. Some uh, police have made mistakes, but to turn on the police is in nobody's interest. They ought to be funded more and given more strength. And, and I want to come to your point. In my opinion, the concern about what you, we used to call law and order and respecting the police and letting them do their job is broadly based in our society. It covers every demographic. And the truth is, I always found in my own uh, political uh, career that uh, lower-income people were as anxious to have the cops on the beat doing their job as people in the uh, uh, suburbs because they feared crime. And, and that's very logical. So uh, some Democrats are beginning to react to this. You see so, some cases where um, more liberal, uh, sort of pro-criminal, anti-police uh, Democrats have been defeated around the country this year. Uh, and that's a clear message to Democratic candidates and office holders. Stand with the police, stand with the law, because that's where the people are, and that's uh, what our society, what our great country needs. Oh, you're right. And then, Senator, I'm about in your age range, so we're not that far apart, young man. But uh, thank you. <laughs> That's well, very kind of you. Very <laughs> kind of you, young man. All right, young man. I'll let it go. Uh, Senator, great, great <laughs> seeing you again. I appreciate that.